All right, folks, today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious looking pineapple whiskey wings. You know what that means? It's time to grill. So first of all, we need a marinade. Let's get started with one cup of pineapple juice, a little piece of garlic, crushed a little bit so it adds flavor to the pineapple, a dash of scotch whiskey, you can use any other whiskey you like, and my new, brand new um, spice bar corporation rub, Jack and Smoke. Basically this is um, whiskey pepper mixed with smoke salt and red berries. So this is really cool. If you don't get this, maybe it's not possible right now to get these in the US or North America. Just use pepper and smoked salt instead. So these are really meaty chicken rings. I have five of them for today's recipe. And I really love chicken rings. I haven't recorded a video for chicken wings for a longer time, so I'm glad to present you another idea of chicken wings. And now we're gonna cut just the little piece of skin between the two, like so, and then we're gonna marinate this in a Ziploc. So that's really easy. We're gonna marinate these for approximately four to six hours in the fridge. Just add the chicken wings to the Ziploc bag, add the marinade, and close the Ziploc bag. So of course I will put the exact amount of ingredients into the video description. You could check it out there. I will um, also put in some interesting links for my US and North American people. I will also put in a link to the German side of the Schickling Grill. Schickling Grill is the grill we are using today. You might have seen this uh, grill in the past. It's completely manufactured and built in Germany. And yeah, there are chicken wings in the fridge. And I show you some more features of the chicken grill today. It's really, really dirty. Um, I made it uh, dirty on purpose. I'm really cool with that. Um, now I show you how to clean this one because the grill grates can be taken out and put in back again pretty fast and pretty easy. So just remove the screws here remove that one and now you're able to take out all the single bars of your grill grate and this is an advantage because you can just put this into the dishwasher if you want or just some hot water and it's really easy to clean these right now and they're really looking good after not too much work you might have realized i confess that i'm not the guy who loves um, cleaning your grill. I'm really full with that. So I'm really happy to have an opportunity here to make this done pretty easy. So of course you can clean some more of that grill. We'll do that later. Last thing I will show you is um, the fat pan that is underneath the grill. I only ha What I do is just put on the two burners here. So these are two times three. This means th uh, six burners inside that can be controlled with two controllers. So one for the right three and one for the left three. And now, as you can see here, it was pretty easy. Just put in the back the fat dripping pan and then we're gonna close one of the burners. Now the thermometer of the grill shows 200 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 420 degrees Fahrenheit or so. Now we have our marinated chicken wings. We're gonna take them out of the brine and we're gonna put that on uh, paper towels and dry it up a little bit. So the marinade, there's not too much marinade that can drip into your grill. And after we have cleaned them, we're gonna grill this on indirect heat. The left burner is out, the right three burners are on. And then we're going to grill these until they are golden brown. So we just throw them on there. As I told you, pretty easy. Um, we're going to flip it every here and there. I don't show you. This is the end after about 35 minutes or so. These are golden brown 
and only one last step to go. I want to add some more pineapple and chicken smoke flavor to the chicken wings. So all we do is take a little bit of that pineapple juice again and baste these chicken wings with the pineapple juice. And this makes two things. First of all, it adds additional pineapple flavor back to the wings. It helps them to stay juicy. And last but not least, we can now sprinkle over some more of that jack and smoke mixture. And this will um, stick on our chicken wings. So just a little bit, make sure not to burn them afterwards or grill them on direct heat. Otherwise, the pepper um, can get bitter. But that's it. Just sprinkle over a little bit of that and ready with our pineapple whiskey jack and smoke wings. Great title, huh? So, we put this inside. We're gonna have a try now. Please hit that like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to Oil Fifting Barbecue. We're gonna have a great summer season together. I will promise you. I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.